Hey everybody, Billy here. Now, as you may know, I am doing the Rally Moto Icebreaker Challenge for 2024, a digital roadbook event that takes place from January through to April, and nine, route, nine routes in total, and you can complete those routes whenever you want to, as long as it's in the period between January to April. Now, as I said, it's a digital roadbook event, so I need to get the Tenere set up properly so that I can read the roadbook as it's being fed through and make sure that I am able to navigate very clearly off a clear screen. Um, it's going to be too small to use my phone. All the information that comes up on a roadbook, if you're familiar with roadbooks, um, it's too small to use on the phone. So instead, I, am, I will be using a Samsung, ta uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab, the Active Tab 3 this one is, so it's a waterproof and quite a robust tablet. In order to be able to mount that to the motorcycle, I need to get the relevant mount for it. And so from RAM mounts, this is the specific mount for the tablet to the Galaxy Active Tab 2 and 3. Um, so electronic uh, kind of compartment at the bottom, cable that plugs into a USB. So let me tell you a little bit more about this and what I've done uh, to make it a bit more, I suppose, weatherproof. I'm going to be riding through the winter this year, so to make sure that this is a bit more weatherproof. So the first thing I've done, where the electronics are at the bottom here, this box, the lid of this box unscrews, I've taken that off and all I've done is applied silicon around the seal and put that back on. And I've also put some, I don't know if you can see here, but there's a cut, there's a, a cutout here um, that needs to be uh, filled with silicon because it's the same cutout where this cable comes out. Um, there is a, a little uh, kind of plastic insert, but I've 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 uh, put some silicon around that. Screwed this back on and put some silicone around this side as well, just to make it a bit more weatherproof. Now this uh, tablet or uh, mount will charge the tablet. It's got some pins in here that connect to uh, pin plates on the bottom of the tablet. So the power is supplied via this cable here. It's split into two, this cable. Um, inside here, there is a kind of like a mini USB-C connector, two cables pinned together, and then it sits in this plastic cradle to give it some support and strength. And then this cradle will uh, cable tie to these two holes at the bottom here, uh, just here and the tablet will sit over that. So this will be hidden and cable tied securely on the mount. And what I've done here to make the, the, um, the connection a bit more weatherproof is that I've put some um, heat shrink over it, um, obviously shrunk that down. And then in the end where there was just a little gap, I've just put in there some silicone uh, to make sure that if water's running down the cable that it's not going down inside the, uh, the shrink wrap and to the connection uh, point. And then that connection point is just simply cable tied onto this plastic mount. Um, I've tied up the, the residue here um, and that will plug into my USB on my motorbike. So the mount obviously sits on the back here. So the mount that's going to go on the Tenere, the, the crossbar on the Tenere. Now I've gone with the Rebel X Sports mount um, and there's a specific reason for that. So there is the mount that goes on the crossbar. That's the Rebel X Sports mount. And the, the, the holes that are uh, drilled into this are uh, all aligned to the relevant standard uh, kind of uh, mounts that you will require to screw to this. So um, I, you know, that's, a, that's a standard mounting pattern. So um, Rebel X Sports have made sure that the, the relevant screw holes are there to make sure that you, know, you can mount most things to it. So that hole there, that's where the crossbar goes through. Now the reason that I've cho chosen the Rebel X Sports mount is because the Rebel X Sports mount comes with this, with this Y bar. And this Y bar is gonna supply rigidity to the crossbar. So the crossbar on the Tenere, it's quite loose. You know, you can move it quite freely. And as a result of that, you get incredibly high frequency uh, vibrations going through that crossbar. Now you won't see those vibrations if you've got your fan, phone mounted on it, even with a, uh, um, a vibration dampener, you, you won't see the, uh, uh, the vibrations. But what you will find when you're riding, if you touch it with your finger, just touch one of the corners of the phone or, or the, the mount that you've got on there, 
um, and you will experience very high intensity vibrations. No good for your phone, any, not, not, not just the camera, but any components of your phone. So therefore, um, you need something that's going to provide a little bit more rigidity to the crossbar. And this is where this comes in. So these two bottom uh, screw holes here, they, um, what you do is that they go through uh, the, where the display is on your Tenere. At the back, the top two screws um, that connect the Tenere to, to its mount, the, the, the display on the Tenere to its mount, you take those out and go through there. And then these two screws go on the back there and it supplies much more rigidity, sturdiness. Um, having tested this, the crossbar just doesn't move at all. It's brilliant. So it's a really good design from Rebel Export. So uh, good design. The only thing um, I've got to question uh, to Rebel Exports about is, look at this pointy bit up here, look. That is pretty lethal. Now it actually does face you. So the um, so when I'm riding, it actually faces me. This point actually faces me. Now, even though it's hidden behind the top lip of this mount from Rebel Exports, that is a chest opener. You come off and you, you know you fly on with that. That's going to rip your chest open. So I'm actually going to cross um, um, hacksaw this bit off, file it down so it's um, uh, a bit more rounded and less likely to do me any damage compared to what that would do. Um, Rebel Exports, uh, if you want to get in touch with me and let me know if it's just a design, you might want to think about changing that design or if it's shaped that way for a reason, uh, but I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to cut it off just up here. All that remains for us to do now is to get it installed. So let me show you how to do that. Right, first thing we need to do is to take this screen off. Uh, you've got four uh, screws here. They are a four mil hex head. So you're going to need to take those off first. Lazy, I'm using a drill and a four mil hex head. Let's take that off. Right, next thing we need to do, there's two screws just at the back to, which uh, connects the top part of the display to the display mount. So we need to take these two screws out here. These are a five mil. So you're gonna need a five mil hex head to take these out. There we go. So <clears throat> now that I've got the screen off, let me show you how wobbly this um, crossbar is. It's really loose, right? It moves with me just using my uh, two fingers. Uh, when we put that uh, Rebel Exports mount on, this is not gonna move at all and it's gonna supply much more rigidity and really reduce to a certain degree, a high percentage, the intensity, the high intensity vibrations that come through this crossbar. Um, one other thing that's been suggested to me as well is to relocate the display. Now Rebel Exports do do a, dis um, a mount that you can mount to your crossbars and relocate the display on top of your crossbar so that the tablet, ha it looks just looks a bit neater because it's going to look a bit compact and busy uh, up here. But um, I don't have that mount at the moment. Uh, I may get it sometime in the future. I'm going to try it first with the display where it is, but I may get that mount in the future at some stage. Um, so stay tuned, there might be a video about that coming in the future. But for now, um, I'm going to keep the display where it is and put the, the Rebel XT uh, mount, mount here. So let's get that started. First things first, let's get the, uh, the Y bar mounted in these and put these two screws back in for the, for the display. So the same screws that came out go back in. And as I say, the, um, this pointy bit here, um, which I'm going to cut off, faces, uh, faces you, right? So um, let's put one screw back in first. One. I'm just going to finger tighten these just to make sure it's as tight as I want it to be. That's fine. That's fine. Right, now we've got the, the Y bar on. Let's put the, the mount on the crossbar now. So the, the rear bit goes, goes in first, sits there, and then the the actual mount itself that goes through and connect. Now these are a 10 mil nut, so you will, you'll need a 10 mil socket. Now the other thing I forgot to mention, or I need to mention, is um, 
because the display is mounted where it is, if I had moved the display to where on top of the handlebars, um, this RAM mount could be seated in that position. But because of the display where it is, um, the, the bottom of this is going to um, mean that it's just it's just sitting out a little bit too far for the bolts to go through. So I've got to mount it upside down. Um, so it's actually going to sit like that on my motorcycle, and that is because uh, the display is in the way. Uh, that's not a problem though, it's all fine, not a problem at all. So we put one of the nuts in first. So I'm going to do that. You're going to need a, a Phillips screwdriver for this. So that's the nut in there, so it's going to go in that hole there. Right, let's do the bottom. Let's do the bottom diagonal one next. Right, with those two diagonally in now, I can do those up tight and the other two should fit perfectly. Lovely job. So that's the mounting, that's nice and secure. The crossbar is really, really secure now. Very low vibrations that are gonna go through that. But the next thing to do now is to locate the cable through, through the, the mount. And as I showed you before, the cable will sit and be cable tied to where I showed you before. So let's cable tie those in. RAM mounts do provide you with the relevant cable ties. Because the tablet mount is on upside down, the tablet has to go on upside down. The tablet comes, the Galaxy Tab 3 comes with a, a touchscreen pencil, pencil. So the only thing I need to be uh, be careful of now is make, to make sure that I don't lose that pencil. So when I'm riding, I'm probably gonna have to take that out and put it somewhere safe. But for now, it's okay where it is. And I'm just gonna push that into the cradle. And that's locked in. And that is, looks the bee's knees. Just gonna finger tighten those, make sure I'm happy with them. There we have it, that's the install complete. So that's all nice and sturdy, that's not going anywhere, very happy with it. Expectations are very high that this is gonna be a great, uh, a great setup for me. I have had some feedback that to mount it vertically, although I think I'm gonna be okay landscape. I'm gonna go landscape first of all and see what it's like. Very much looking forward to it. The only thing that's left me to do now is to switch this on, make sure that it all powers up, see what it looks like when it's running, fingers crossed. What I'm gonna do is switch the ignition on, see if the display powers up. Here we go, powers on, so that means all working good. And it just looks the business. So. Very, very happy with that indeed. Looking forward to my first Rally Moto. So that's the installation complete for the digital roadbook, the tablet and the mount installed. Power going to the tablet, so very, very happy with that indeed. Ready now for my first icebreaker challenge. If you're out doing it as well, hopefully I may see you out there. Good luck if you are doing it. Look forward to seeing the results uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the event in April. Any questions or comments, do let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again very soon.